everyone, it's Miss Roxanne from the Shrewsbury Library, and I'm here to highlight, highlight some of our new middle grade novels. We have a lot of new books we're still ordering. Uh, right now, uh, the library is not open for browsing, but we do have uh, some carts upstairs uh, in the holds area that you can come in and uh, see what's new on uh, those carts. So these are some of the new books. So this first book that I'm going to talk about is The Mysterious Disappearance of Aiden S. This is about a kid named Aiden who mysteriously disappears and then six days later mysteriously returns. He tells his brother Liam where he was and Liam really wants to believe Aiden, but the story is just too unbelievable. Are you already trying to guess where Aiden was? My first thought was he was abducted by aliens, but I have a big imagination. Maybe he just ran away. What do you think? Well, you won't have to get too far. Just 13 pages into the story, at the start uh, of chapter two, uh, you can find out what the answer is. But I bet you by then you'll want to read on. And this is the book, The Mysterious Disappearance of Aiden S. as Told to His Brother by David Levithon. Second book here is unplugged. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little, uh, what looks like a lizard on the front holding a, uh, what, USB cord of some sort with a cell phone, I think. Uh, and this little guy does feature in the story. I'm not going to talk about it, but you can read the book and find out how. And this is uh, unplugged by Gordon Corman. If you get in trouble at home, do grown-ups take away your technology, your phone, your gaming device? <clears throat> Spoiled Jet Baranov, son of a world-famous tech billionaire, has it much worse. One minute he's a passenger cruising in his private jet, and the next he's being dropped in, off in the middle of the Arkansas wilderness at a wellness camp called Oasis where there are no phones allowed, the food is only healthy food, and he must, must participate in wholesome activities with the other kids who he doesn't really want to have anything to do with. After a while, Jet notices, and here's where the excitement starts to build in the story. After a while, Jet notices that the adults at Oasis are acting strange. But will anyone listen to Jet and not think he's just causing trouble? like he usually does. This is Unplugged by Gordon Corman, and if that name sounds familiar, you might be uh, uh, familiar with him. He wrote the, one of the 39 Clues books, or some of the 39 Clues books. He wrote Island Shipwrecked, which is a summer reading book here in Shrewsbury. He wrote the Swindle Mysteries that are very popular. And if you liked his, read uh, his Mastermind series, or even the Eco Mysteries by Carl Hyacin, uh, Who or Chomp or any of those Eco Mysteries, uh, you'll certainly want to pick up this book, Unplugged by Gordon Corman. <clears throat> this has a pretty funny cover, The Smartest Kid in the Universe, verse by Chris Gravenstein. What would you do if you suddenly became a genius? And not just any run-of-the-mill genius, but the smartest kid in the universe. Jake McQuaid is just a regular kid whose middle school is about to be shut down because it's falling apart. Jake and his friends are trying to figure out how to save the school. Then, Jake eats a jar of what he thinks are jelly beans at his mom's office. Jake is in for a surprise, though, because they are a science experiment, the world's first ingestible knowledge pills. If this sounds interesting to you, but you aren't entirely sure, there's also a centuries-old pirate legend to, solve, to be solved. And who doesn't love a story of lost pirate treasure? This is The Smartest Kid in the Universe by Chris Grabenstein, who you might uh, be familiar with, uh, readers out there. Uh, he wrote the Mr. Lemoncello's library series. He also wrote I Funny, uh, co-authored with James Patterson, who's a very popular uh, middle grade uh, novel writer. And the final 
old one is a little darker. I'm gonna read a little bit from the, actually the back of the book. This is Cathedral of Bones by A.J. Steiger. Her ragged cloak hung in loose folds around her thin frame. A hood covered her head, hiding most of her face in shadow. Simon tried to sit up. Who are you? Where is the monster? Within the hood, her eyes glowed a dim purple. I am the monster, says Alice. Alice is certainly not what Simon Frost expects to find when he sets out to save a vil distant village from a terrible monster and prove his worth. Simon is an animist, but he is an apprentice and not a very powerful animist either. But we soon learn that this village holds a key to Simon's past and will lead him to an unbelievable future. This is Cathedral of Bones by A.J. Steiger. Not a very known author. Uh, she has written other books before, but this is just a good example of we purchase books that aren't part of a series that you might not be, you might not be familiar with them, but we can certainly help you find read-alikes. And a read-alike is a book that's similar to a book that you know, or an author that you know, or a series that you know. And we can find you a read-alike. Just uh, email splkids at cwmars.org or give us a call. And that's the end of my highlight of new middle grade novels.